It's great to see a franchise like Mass Effect on a Nintendo console. It would seem to indicate, uh, despite everything else to the contrary, that there's still hope for third parties and Nintendo to get their collective shit together. In fact, as a longtime Nintendo fan, playing this game on the Wii U was a bit surreal. I mean, this is the kind of game Nintendo fans usually don't get to play. Now, the gamer who purchases multiple consoles might not appreciate this, but on that basic level, to play an HD blockbuster on a Nintendo system, Mass Effect 3 is pretty special. And for better or worse, it hasn't changed a bit. newcomers and Nintendo fans caught up, Mass Effect is a trilogy of games dating back to the original in 2007. But what makes the series so special is its story, an incredibly ambitious narrative that feels like gaming's answer to Star Wars. Players assume the role of Shepard, a human commander who leads the fight against the Reapers, an ancient alien race once thought to be a myth. Yeah, not the case. By Mass Effect 3, the Reaper's assault on the galaxy is well underway, and you've already made a host of decisions in the first two games that affect your experience in the third. That is, if you played the first two games. That's the one huge drawback to Mass Effect 3 on the Wii U. It's the conclusion of an epic story that, in this case, is incomplete. I mean, there is an interactive comic that gets you up to speed, but it's still, it's, like, it's kind of like buying a book that only has the last chapter. Of course, that's less a flaw of the game than of its situation. And nonetheless, Mass Effect 3 is still a tremendous experience on the Wii U. Think third-person shooter, uh, the whole Resident Evil 4 turned Gears of Wars template, but stitched into the fabric of an immense, character-driven action RPG. Everything about Shepard, from his physical appearance to his allegiances and romantic interests, is entirely up to you. I, want a fucking alien? Go right ahead! I'll try anything once. Maybe twice, if it goes well. The shooting mechanics are solid, uh, if somewhat unremarkable, but the draw of Mass Effect is ultimately its story and RPG elements. And again, the aesthetic similarities to Star Wars are countless, but really the story itself is more Lord of the Rings. Shepard's uncovered plans for this ancient weapon that could destroy the Reapers. So in Mass Effect 3, He's basically Aragorn, a dethroned leader who has to keep the enemy distracted from its impending doom. We need to stand together, now more than ever. The Reapers won't stop at Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. Ironically, the game gives you plenty of distractions too. As the game unfolds, the effects of the war are felt across the entire galaxy. That means more side missions, places to visit, and people to meet than seems at all reasonable. You get to fight the enemy on multiple fronts, and it lends a real sense of authenticity to your struggle. Obviously, I haven't mentioned much in the way of Wii U differences. That's because there aren't many, really. I mean, you can play the entire game on the gamepad screen, which frees up your television and is very useful for a game this time-consuming. But otherwise, I mean, you can toggle maps or menus, but there are no touch controls or anything. This is just Mass Effect 3 on a new system. Then again, it's, it's not just any system, is it? It's a Nintendo system. And for that alone, this game should be celebrated by Nintendo fans. The fact that it's also a masterful action RPG and a clinic in video game storytelling, that's like extra cherries in the pie. When there's so much at stake, I think about my friends, loved ones. The sweet alien pie. It's Mass Effect 3 for the Wii U, and it's about time. Thank you.